So what SSDs actually have the longest and best endurance? I'm gonna talk about it. Welcome back to my channel. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna talk a little bit about hard drive endurance. Where can you find the best hard drives with really good hard drive endurance? And what does that mean? I'm gonna go ahead and post something, you'll see it here in a second, but I did a video a long time ago, and you can search for that video on my channel. It showed you how to basically get the information. If you're looking for a hard drive, where you can find a hard drive's endurance rating. So long story short, what they do typically is they'll actually, there's gonna be something called TBW, or terabytes written more or less, and that basically is gonna be the endurance of each SSD drive. So for example, some of the, let's just say, Samsung drives that are coming out now have 600 TBW. That means that they can roughly write to that drive 600 terabytes before the warranty's kind of over, and it doesn't mean it's gonna die exactly at that, si at that exact time, and you know it could last a lot longer, but generally speaking, that's where kind of the warranty is or where it thinks it's gonna die. So those are gonna give you a, an idea of how long that drive can last. So there's drives that have very short endurance and they're gonna be a little bit cheaper. And then there's gonna be drives made for like a data center. And that's, I actually work in a data center. And those drives, I, you know, the cheapest drives that I found I'm gonna show you, they have really, really high um, in fact, they're actually called P, it's basically PBW because it's petabytes instead of terabytes, and it's gonna be a lot higher rating on those drives. Now, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive, you know, quite a bit more expensive, but not terribly expensive. So if you're looking for a drive, an SSD drive that is gonna be written to a lot, maybe you're doing video editing all the time and it's an external drive, maybe you just have tons of information going back and forth and you think you're gonna kill kind of a cheap drive pretty quickly, Watch this video, I'm gonna share my screen, I'm gonna kinda of go through again what I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna show you the drives that I kinda of recommend, or at least where to start looking for them. It's gonna give you a good idea if you're looking for a high endurance drive, what to look for, how to look for it. And I'll share my screen and we'll kinda of get into the video. Hopefully it helps people. Again, it's one of those videos that I like to make that most people don't make these kinda of videos, so that's why I'm kinda of concentrating on them. Hopefully it helps people, let's go. All right, doing a search on Google, let's just start with the basics, and I'll go ahead and just zoom in on this. So the SSD endurance is the total amount of data an SSD is guaranteed to be able to write under warranty. That's the key, guaranteed, and then you know it can go a lot longer. So often it's specified as TBW, you can see here, and that's terabytes written. So if you see a value TBW, that's what you wanna look for. Now, that's terabytes. Some of the bigger drives, we'll get into this in a second, can be PBW. Petabyte basically is 1,024 terabytes. So it's a quite a bit of a difference, obviously. So if you see PB, you know, when it's actually said PBW, um, it's gonna usually be a lot more, you know, a drive with a lot more endurance. So you wanna look for that if you can find them. So second thing is, is now let's get into this. Now, the reason I went to Micro Center, even if you're in a different country and you can't buy from Micro Center, you can do some research on here. If you scroll down, and let's just start with some typical drives that are very common. So let's just look at this one right here. This is gonna be the Samsung 980 Pro. This is the Pro model. So if you click on it, at a lot of places where you buy drives, if you kind of go into the specs, you can see them down here, you're gonna see inside the specs a lot of times, it's gonna give you all this information. You know, obviously read speed up to 7,000 megabytes per second, crazy. But here's the endurance, and it's not always listed this clearly, but this has 600 terabytes written. So for this drive, it's that's basically means, you know, when you write onto that drive 600 terabytes of data over the course of its life, it's, it's gonna think it's gonna fail around that time, or at least your warranty's done. And uh, so that's, that's you know, pretty expensive drive. But if, even if you go to like the Samsung 870 Evo one terabyte, you know, 114 bucks, you click on that, same thing, if you go into specs, we'll come down here and we'll look again. The endurance is around 600 terabytes written, same exact thing, um, a lot slower speeds, but it's gonna be around the same. So that's a pretty robust drive also. Um, when you get into some cheaper name brands, let me see if I can find one. Um, you know, you're gonna be paying less for some of the cheaper brands. So like, for instance, if you go into Inland, and again, these can last a lot longer, but if you get into the, some of the cheaper brands, you know, you're gonna be looking at like, this one's 200 terabytes written, see it there? So it's only gonna be about a third of the other one. Now granted, you may never reach this, depending on what you're doing. This is a ton of data. 
unless you're doing super crazy video editing or anything else, you may never reach this. But sometimes you actually need to reach this, and that's the problem. And uh, you know, so if you're looking at consumer drives, you'll notice as we go through all these consumer drives, here's a crucial drive. Let's click on that one. They're going to be in the same ballpark. You know, this is 360, so gen terabytes written. So generally, you're speaking around three, uh, you know, 200 to 600 terabytes written for consumer drives. So if you need something way more powerful, I'm going to show you what to actually find and get. So let's go and show you what that is. And I just wanted to kind of set this up and show you what's typical of typical SSD drives. All right. So I work in a data center, and this is the this is the main reason I know this. Um, there's some drives that we use. It can be a number of different drives, but basically, for instance, drives that are made for servers in a data center environment, they have to have a lot more endurance in them because you're constantly writing to them. Um, it's not like a typical home computer where it's off half the day or 90% of the day. So if you look for the Intel drives that are, you look for, this is called the D3 series, but it really stands for data center. So it's basically going to be like anything, usually it says like DC or D, D3, but there's going to be a way that you can find out if it's for data centers and Intel makes a huge line of them. For instance, let me just go into this one here and I'm going to have a link to this in Amazon in a second, but this is the Intel D3S 4510. It's only 400 and, uh, 480 gigabytes, and it's a typical, you know, two and a half just drive. And so these are a little bit older, but they still work in the data center. People still use them. So if you go in here and you look at this, now you go kind of go down, and we're going to see if we can find that exact, uh, you know, what is the actual, you know, when is this going to fail? Is this even in here? So we kind of go down in here and we look, uh, we did find it. Here's the endurance right here. You can see it right here. It's 1.2 PBW. So that's basically 1,200 terabytes instead of the 600 we saw before. So it's basically double the Samsung before it's going to fail. And that's because it's a data center drive. Now they're going to sometimes be a little bit slower as well. I mean, this is 555 and 480, but at the end of the day, um, they're going to be comparable. As you go up, you know, let's go up to the next one. The next one's going to be, let's say 960 right there. I'm going to click on that one. As you go up, as far as the size of these drives, they usually have a lot bigger writes. Uh, it's endurance. So we're going to go to the 960 version of this. This is the DC S4510 960, not, not the 480, but the 960 gigabyte. If we scroll down here to the bottom, we're going to see that these actually have 2.3 PBW. So that's pretty crazy. It's 2.3. Now we're talking almost double the last one. And if we go back again, um, let's go up to this next one. Um, you know, they, well, these are huge, so let's not let's skip those. Let's go to this other brand. They have another brand that came out, and these are going to be like a 1.6 capacity drive by Intel. This is the P4610 series. DC stands for Data Center. Again, click on this one. Again, this is a 1.6 terabyte drive, but if we scroll down, we're going to look at how much these things shoot up. I mean, as far as the actual read and write endurance on these, they're crazy. 12.25 PBW, see it there? That means that it's basically 12,250 you know, um, terabytes written, which is what? That's, that's almost 24, 23 times the size of that Samsung drive. So you can see that these are the drives you want to get. All right, so the typical 480 gigabyte drive that I showed you before, if you go on Amazon, I'll have a link to this. They're not going to be that cheap, but basically, you know, here they are on Amazon. Um, there's various stores you can pick them up and all that stuff. But generally speaking, you're going to find these for about 139 bucks, 129 bucks, somewhere in that range. And again, this is going to be for only a 480, so they're going to be quite a bit more. I mean, they might be at least double the cost of a standard consumer grade drive, but they're not crazy expensive. So that's going to be for this one. Um, there's a lot of other ones in here you can pick up. I mean, $101 is only the 240 gig one, but you can find them on Amazon. Also, if you go into something like uh, on, on Newegg or a site like that, I'm sure they have them at like ProVantage or any type of data center stores. This is the 480 here, and you can see again, this is going to be um, 134 bucks. If you go to like the 960, it's going to be $269. So $269 is expensive for basically a one terabyte drive. But at the end of the day, when you're talking, you know, a bunch of times more endurance, if you need it for something, it may pay off for you. So I just wanted to go ahead and show people what's available and uh, why people would buy these. I mean, these are for data centers, and that's what you want to look for is look for the Intel line of data center drives um, or other, you know, manufacturers manufacturers that have their data center line and then look up the endurance and compare them to consumer. If that's what you need, then that's what you need to look for. All right. So what did you think? 
not too bad, right? Let me know in the comments if it helped anybody. Um, again, I just kind of like to make videos that are a little bit different than most people make out there just because there's so much of the same stuff. This is one that may help some people that are looking for those high endurance drives. I mean, obviously you can look at the ratings if you can find them and a lot of people know enough to do that, but it's kind of the drives that you have to kind of concentrate on that you know are going to have those really high values. And a lot of Intel drives do. Any type of drives that are made for data center settings, even if you have to buy them you know, third, you know, know, through eBay or something, as long as they're new um, and you know what they came from, it's a good source and stuff, they're going to have incredibly high um, you know, endurance on them compared to just the consumer drive. And so for the people that need those, whether they're in video editing, doing large file transfers, or if they have very you know, important data that can't, can't be, you know, think the hard drive just cannot stop working, those are the drives that are going to last a long time for them. So I do hope it helps people understand kind of what that's all about. About. And, and let me know in the comments if it helped and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.